from Rainbow Island, and today we're making pizza! No, just kidding. We are making, we are decorating cookies! This is a DIY cookie decorating kit. By Sweets Too Nice to Slice. Okay, so in the kit, it comes with instructions. This is called a scribe tool. It helps guide icing and pop air bubbles. This little um, plastic piece, right there it comes off and it's very sharp to pop the air bubbles and guide icing it comes with four colors of icing pink purple white and blue it comes with some some cookies it has jars and flowers the other kit has just these flowers that's what the cookie shapes are and then it comes with some toppings as well these are big pop rocks and these are sprinkles for toppings and it's fun for when you're stuck at home now. Step one is to gently knead the frosting bags because the food coloring and the frosting are separating a bit. So we just need to knead those all together for one to two minutes on all of the frosting bags. And, and I will see you guys when it, was all, when it is all done. Okay, so when that is done, you find the seam of the bag, which is um, like this kind of sharp edge where they closed it. You take it and you find it and make sure it's completely flat. Then take your scissors and cut a tiny hole in the bag. And then that is where the frosting is gonna come out on all of them. So let's continue doing that. So here's the seam and it's flat. And cut the tip. Perfect. Two bags and then the blue. The blue I'm gonna cut a little bit more because that's only gonna be for the flowers in the jar. So let's just cut it there. That's pretty good. That's the right amount. And then for the white, I'm gonna cut just like a little bigger than the blue because that I'm only using for base, not like little details. So it's kind of like the blue same, but just, just a little bigger. That's a little bigger. Okay, so now all of the bags are cut. Tip, if you cut them too big, you, you can never put it back on, but you can make it bigger, but not putting it back on. That's a little sad, but that's the only thing that we can do. Okay, so now let's start decorating. This is our inspiration by Sweets Too Nice to Slice. Kind of scared. Let it drip. Let's put some more. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. The first couple ones was runny, but now it's getting thicker as we go. Oh, yep, yeah, it's getting really thick. That's a good thing because at the more thicker it is, the more the less runnier, and the more um, vibrant the color is, and the more icing. That's a lot of icing. It might pop a bit on this one because it's really thick. This is much easier than using your finger. Just for a little tip. Let's finish that up. Okay, I think that is good. Let's set that down and set it over. I'm not the best at cookie decorating, but we're gonna give it a go. Last cookie. Okay, so now let's do some blue for the base this time. That should be good. And let's flip it this way and do some more. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep frosting this bad boy. I gotta Looking say this. Really good. Yeah, it is, Mom. And if there's any bubbles in the icing, I can just pop it with this tool as well. Okay, so that the mini flowers are done. Mm, the icing tastes great. It's very sweet. Hmm, what should we do next? Okay, so for the big ones, I think I'm gonna do some multicolored ones, just some normal ones. So this one I'm gonna do multi. So I'm just gonna drizzle a bit on with the white, and then I'm gonna drizzle on some blue, and some purple and pink. Okay, I think. That is good. Just a little bit more. Okay, white is good. Now some blue. 
Then we're gonna do purple and pink, well, four colors that it comes with. This is gonna be so cool with the multi. This might be one of my favorite cookie sets that I've done in my first cookie set. <laughs> Let's drizzle some purple on there. I know it might look not multi yet, but once we spread it, it should look very multi. This is the first time using the pink. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, that's weird. This one has a very small hole. That's okay for good details. That looks like a lot of icing. It probably is. These are probably one of the sugariest ones. Oh, it looks pretty wow. cool. Wow. Once you spread it, it's very nice. As you can see what I'm doing now, just spread it onto it. May have not have been enough icing. Oh, I think you've got plenty. Yeah, it's a lot of icing. It might look like a lot, but really, it's very thick, so it's kind of hard to spread. You can't really see any more white. I guess it's all mixed in. This is probably as good as it's you gonna get. You invented another color. Mm-hmm. We've had a nice cookie color. Okay, I think that cookie looks good. Does it look good, Mom? Yeah, looks really good to me. Let's Kay. see. Do you nice. like it, guys? Ooh, if you like do, if you do, um, go down into the comments and um, type if you do or not. Okay, so I'm doing a little different swirl technique. It's kind of the same. We do a layer of some. We do a layer. But it's a little different. We do a layer and just start piping in a zigzag kind of way or just like that with your colors. And then you take this and just kind of spread it just a bit. Then you go like this with it, just like that. But first I need to spread it around a bit. That actually looks quite pretty as it is now. But now I need to create a pattern kind of like that. That's kind of like marbling. Mm. Then for the outside, we do some purple. A little glob on each petal. I'll do a bit in the very middle of it. Okay, we'll start with the outside, then we'll do the middle when it's done. Now let's spread. And do a little swirling action with the tip. Do some spread. And then some crosses and that some spread 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 he did and then do some more crossing and stuff like that then one more now let's do the last bit of purple right in the center a little glob and then spread it kind of in a circular way and do some X's Okay, now let's work on this jar. Let's spread some white. Okay, so the marbling on this one is a better technique. So you just do some dots on a base and then you start spreading just like that. I think that marbling is done. Let's put that on that. Carefully set it over here. Nailed it. My <laughs> mom over here made that spectacular snowflake. Oh, I don't know if I would say spectacular. That looks amazing, Mom. It <laughs> actually really does. I quite like it. Thank you. All of them are very pretty. Now you can probably do the top layer of these white and blue ones. Oh, yeah, Mom. That's a great idea. Let's start it. Okay. So I'm going to, for this one, I'm probably going to do um, pink. With my finger, I mark where I'm going to put it. Then I do a little dot very carefully. It might be a little purple, so I'm gonna get a, just go like that. Very carefully. Nice. Yeah, that was really pretty. That's one of the perfect, perfect flowers. This one I'm gonna do a different color, which is gonna be purple. So it's gonna look great. That one was perfect. Let's try one nice and slow with no spreader and try to just follow the pattern. Trying to go nice and slow. It's starting to look nice. 
I'm about to get an inch. That's pretty nice. Perfect. Now fill it in. Now I'll fill it in now. Not all goopy crazy. Just I know. I'm just letting it randomly go. So what happened to not goopy and crazy? Well, I didn't really know what you meant, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can change this one. So the spreader. Carefully start, like, kind of gluing it to the edges. We tried, we tried. This is what it um, looks like when you deal with a globby mess and just fix it up a bit. Take some more purple frosting from over there. Just start gluing it in. It's kind of like really sticky glue. Instead, it's like edible glue. Instead, it's colors and it's not glue, it's frosting. It really does look like it though. If the edges are a little messy, then you can go over it with an accent color and just draw a design a bit. The last step is to decorate with some sprinkles. So I'm going to do a bit of these circle sprinkles right in the middle of this one. Thank you to Sweets by Too Nice to Slice for making all these kits. And I'll put the link in the description below. And for Mom Granddad who gave us this idea to do it. Thank you so much. And I hope you like this video. These are all the cookies that we created. So I'm going to give you a little tour of them. So here's the first one that we decorated. Here's the second. It's the snowflake one. Here's the third. It's the marble. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth and seventh. Then down here we just have five more. This one is one of my, by far one of my favorites. This one's a little like mouse or cat, I think, that my mom made. And then there's a cook, there's all three jars. This decorating isn't very good on this one, so I'm gonna eat it. It's kind of like the taste test. Let's try it. Mm -mm. It's pretty good. It's hard to chew when you have loose teeth, like me. This one and this one. Mmm, it's delicious. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, click subscribe, the bell button, so you won't miss any of our future videos, and give a huge subscribe and thumbs up. So I hope you like this video. Bye. Just a little squirt. Oh, Whoa. Mmm, that's <laughs> <Master> good. <Gub. laughs>